lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is pinky for those of you guys that are new and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what i do for those of you guys returning welcome back my loves now i wanted to come on here really quick because i wanted to show you guys a very quick effective and more than anything it is a special day today so if you can do this today 12 12 which is a portal uh this is ideal right to manifest into your life as quickly as possible now if you see this video after 12 12 you can still use it as a uh, push for 2024 um, to be able to experience whatever it is that you're trying to draw into your life uh, it will have obviously it would give you results um, but the reason why we're using it specifically today 12 12 is because we are experiencing a portal and this is when all synchronicities, all connections, right, uh, come together and give us that amplified energy, that powerful energy to be able to push through the dimension of the spiritual or the dream and to bring it here into the earthly plane, into the manifestation, which is why we're doing this today. So it is very simplistic. I will tell you, all you really need is a marker and a piece of paper now you can get a white piece of paper any type of paper does not matter just make sure that it does not have lines and preferably if you can as an example if you're doing this for love you want to use a pink or red paper um, colors are very important again because of the synchronicities that are happening and the powerful portal that we are using so I'm going to give you guys as an example, if you're trying to draw in money, abundance and success in your career or in your profession or in your business, whatever it is, we're going to use green here, as you guys can see. But like I said, white always substitutes any other color. OK, so what you're going to do is very simple. At the very top, you're going to put your first middle and last name you're going to date it uh the the time uh, sorry the uh your birth date <laughs> i struggled there for a bit so you're going to put your birthday as an example uh february 16th 1990 as an example and you don't want to separate the numbers you want to put them together okay as you guys can see here then you're going to write down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. You're going to write down 12 wishes, 12 things that you're trying to manifest, that you're trying to bring to you for this coming 2024. So as an example, if you're doing this for money, uh, you would want to be as specific as possible. How much is it that you're trying to make a month, for example, or how much is it that you're trying to bring in every week? And you're going to write down as in the present, meaning I am blessed and thankful that I am making so much uh, at a certain amount every week. And then you're going to write down on the second one, I am blessed and thankful that I'm making whatever it is that you want to be making a month. Now, the third is, as an example, if you want to grow or you want to expand your business, I am blessed and thankful that my business is expanding, that I will be opening up my second store, for example, or that I am able to hire more employees, uh, whatever it is that means expansion for you. The third um, sorry, the fourth, you're going to, uh, anything that has to do with finances, stick with one, um, stick with one thing that you're trying to do. Like I said, if you're doing it for money, then do it. All of the 12 things that you're trying to draw in, or you're trying to experience, let it be related to money. As an example, um, I am blessed and thankful that I am able to, uh, make enough that I'm able to take a week off or two weeks off vacation to travel to. And then you would write down wherever it is that you're traveling to. Write it in the present though. So as an example, I am blessed and thankful. If you have a specific month, um, I'm blessed and thankful that in March 2024, I was able to go to whatever vacation and take my family with me 
whatever it is, but write it in the present. You're going to do all 12. Again, connect it to whether it's money, love, uh, health, whatever it is that you're trying to bring in and be as specific and as clear as possible. It's very simplistic, guys, but I assure you, you will get results. Now, at the very bottom, what you're going to do once you write all of that down, you're going to sign the paper and you're going to date it, okay? You're going to date it. Once you have done that, I need you to get this letter, read it out loud, and you're going to pass it all over your body. What you're doing is you want to pull the energy from you, from source, right, from your energetic field into this paper. Once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this paper and you're going to keep it um, in the bottom of your pillow. Every day before you go to bed, you're going to take this letter out you're going to read everything out loud. And at the very end, you're going to give gratitude to your spirit guides or to your ascendant masters or to whoever deity you work with or worship. You're going to give gratitude to them for the blessings that they have bestowed upon you. And you have to mean it. Okay. I cannot tell you how many times I have seen with this process, miracles happen in people's lives, but you have to mean it. Once you're done with that, you're going to put it back in your pillow and you're going to go to bed as you usually do. You're going to do this for 12 consecutive nights. Every single night before going to bed, you're going to take this paper out. You're going to read it out loud and then give gratitude. Once that's done, you fold it, put it back into your pillow or under your pillow or in your pillow, uh, pillow case. Once that's done, on the 12th day or on the 12th night, I should say, you're going to read this out loud and you're going to give gratitude. And I really want you guys to focus in the gratitude in the in the thanking the spirits and the universe for the blessings that they are bringing to you. But I really want you to hone into that energy on the last day because you're going to do this for 12 nights. On the 12th night, you're going to read it out loud. You're going to give gratitude. And I really want you to take a good couple of minutes uh, feeling the energy of gratitude and how blessed you are and look at your letter and look at the things that are coming into your life and how excited, how blessed, how thankful you are. And not only that, but also really hone in to the energy of how amazed you're going to be experiencing all of this because you're going to see it with your very own eyes start to happen, start to manifest. And once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper and you're going to burn it. So you want to make sure that you get yourself a plate so that you can uh, be able to obtain the ashes. So you're going to give gratitude. You're going to burn the paper and what we're using is the element of air as well as the element of fire. Once that's done, once the paper has been completely burnt, you're going to keep the ashes in the plate. You're going to go to the front entrance of your home. If you're doing this for money or for business, you're going to take the ashes to the entrance of your business and you're going to blow on the ashes. Once you blow on the ashes, you're going to give gratitude and thanks to the universe. I thank you, universe, for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon me. I am so excited and I'm so thrilled because I am ready. I am experiencing it now. Uh, my heart is beating so fast because of how excited I am. I feel blessed. I am thrilled. I am thankful. I am humbled. Really hone into that energy. And once that is done, you have completed this letter to the universe ritual and it is all about expectancy, putting your energy or putting your mind into the expectancy, into, you know, the excitement of seeing things start to unfold and manifest. And I assure you guys that if you do this with focus and you do this with trust and belief, you're going to start to experience all of this, everything you've written down, start to manifest for you. And I don't, I want you guys to really stay in that mentality because seeing experiencing, I can sit here and tell you the miracles that, you know, thousands of clients of mine have experienced through many of the spell work that I have done for them or that I have taught them. But it is a completely different ballgame when you yourself experience that and then you come to the realization 
that yes, you are powerful, that yes, you are capable of redirecting your life towards the type of life, towards the type of experiences that you are worthy of. And when you start to see that, a, a, a different shift happens in your mind where you realize how much power you actually have, that you can continuously keep doing or putting this uh, practice into your everyday life whenever you're trying to make certain goals and aspirations happen or wanting some type of result. It is all about manifestation. It is all about seeing the end game, basically. It is being able to take action. You are action, right? Your body is action and movement. Uh, it's energy and movement because we are energy. So putting our focus and our energy towards the things that we want to experience, towards what we want to have in our lives, and being able to connect that is what erases the disconnect and then it happens. So again, I assure you guys that if you do this, you're going to be blown away. Do it with faith, do it with focus, and you're going to be amazing or amazed at the results you experience. If you actually do this, uh, come back when you start to see manifestations happen and comment below so that you can encourage others uh, to take powers into your own hands and make things happen for you. I want to wish every single one of you happy holidays. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.